Today I will be teaching you how to use the TI aligner, blade setter, modifier. I only use on the TI aligners. This is my first time using it, so let's go. Let's see how it works. Okay, well, let's go in. I mean, about those these are my modified TI liner right. chop the top on these. Yeah, sure these are my, we'll my uh, get them done for the kids. What are you thinking? I'll get them out the way. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to get them back all the way on point point. These ones really already hit, man. But I'm going to redo it anyway just to show y'all. And... All right, uh, I'm going to get the TI aligners. We're going to take them off. These are my modifieds. First of all, I'm going to keep that blade on there like that, man. So I'm going to have a hard time putting it into the, into the modifier. Give me a second, you're up. When I get it, let's go and screw the two black two it's screws. The DEA. Little bit. One little Details twist. That successful, they would be investigating me too, and that that's enough to for the blade to move back and forth. What exactly are you saying? It's really unlocking this lap, this bottom shaft. What? You go get that back on there. And put that down. Get it up there. It go move back and forth. That's cool that what you want it kind of loose. You go sit it. You go sit it up in there to where it got a little lip in there, man. And you just make sure it's in there like that, and make sure it's all the way down on there. That's how it look. It'll still be able to move back and forth. This here still goes up and down, and you'll get it. Make sure it's unlocked so it's to move back and forth. It'll go up in there, push it hard you know, to a snug to the top. If you look at it, it's got a lot of little slant to where it's still slanted to give it so it won't over the, uh, the blade won't overlap the top blade. And then you lock it. Lock it. Yeah, it's locked together. It's in there. Uh, sorry about that, y'all. It's my first time doing it, so I'm showing y'all the same time while I'm doing it. Lock them. Oh man, too tight. I'm tripping. Just get it up there a little bit to where it's locked up there. It's snug. Then you get it. Tighten it up. They say tighten both screws up. Should be locked, we unlock it. Get it out. That's how it looks, man, right now. It's supposed to be a triple zero. Feel like it'll be okay. Get that. You go set them on your clippers. Should have screwed this one all the way in so I ain't gonna be, won't move so much. Screw it in enough so it don't move as much. I still got some kind of control. Lightly do it. It ain't tightly yet. So I'm just making sure everything is in place right. Making sure it's still at, it ain't overlapping, but close as it can get. Yeah, 
that there. Uh, well, you can check them by, uh, they ready, man, ready to go. I'm sure I better than the other, but they don't cut. They good as go. Boom, one down. You know, when they cut sharp, you ain't gotta be tripping about nothing to get to the get the job done. Uh, make sure you don't go too hard on them, man, cause they go hit hard, it's crazy. So, if you like this uh, tutorial, like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what I need to do to get myself together and also to help you even more with your techniques. Bam, uh, you know.